This is part two, uh, talking about the blood of Jesus protecting us, and I thank you for your comments on part one. I wanted to answer some of those comments and questions. Uh, this is at our school office door, and the reason I put paint was because some families are fearful, and I wanted to remind them we're under the blood of Jesus. No, I am not saying that red paint protects you from sickness or disease, not by any means. I'm not saying whether vaccinated or unvaccinated, I'm not getting into that. I'm talking about the blood of Jesus protecting us. So it was mentioned that the cross, uh, crucifixion was not invented yet. That's true, crucifixion was not invented until the sixth century BC. But I wanted to show you, here's one artist's rendition of, of a family putting the blood on the doorpost and lentil, forming a cross, and they had the blood running down from when they put it on the lentil. Uh, I had the lentil and the doorpost uh, crossing each other. But uh, nevertheless, Jesus Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world, the Bible says. Remember, God is outside time, so even though people didn't understand what exactly was going to happen, God did. And so the cross was very much a part of what God was picturing as a model or type that they were looking forward to the Messiah. So although they might not have realized the cross and the value of it at the time, God still nonetheless used the symbol at that time. When the children of Israel were complaining and bit by serpents, God told Moses to put a brass serpent on a pole and as many as looked lived. Because it was just a matter of looking by faith. What is a, how does a brass serpent represent Jesus? Brass represents judgment. A serpent represents sin. This means sin judged on a pole. And you can see that pole is a cross to hold that serpent. So it was looking forward to the offering of Jesus Christ once for all for the sins of the entire world. When the children of Israel gathered together in their camps as they were moving, the tabernacle would be set up in the center. God said three tribes were to camp to the south, three to the north, three to the east, three to the west, and their camp formed a cross. When Balaam was hired by Balak to curse Israel and he was up on the mountain and looked down, he saw the cross. Although it had no significance to him, nevertheless, God knew that the cross was going to be the center point of all eternity, and so Israel camped in the shape of a cross. The serpent on a pole, when the people looked by faith, even though they were sinners, they looked by faith, they were saved, and when the blood was put on the doorpost and lentils, God looked upon that blood, and it didn't matter who was inside, what kind of life they had, it was a matter of being under the blood. So when we receive Jesus Christ, we're saved and we're under the blood, and we're going to get in a little bit too. I'm going to answer some more questions on the dating in the next video.